on the last episode of Mortal Kombat Deception. Conquest, Ray made in Unreal Engine 5. Brandon was yipping on about textures and aligning the roads and only got as far as getting everything imported properly. Even though Brandon managed to successfully rip the original level into Unreal Engine 5, will he have the power to turn this into a playable game let alone a proper remaster? Or will he do poo pee pee and skirt skirt off the internet never to be seen again? Alright, up until now the level textures are all looking very blue. It's not supposed to look like that. So, using the dolphin emulator I was able to not only extract the original textures with the original colors, but I was also able to get them higher resolution. Excellent. The next logical step would be to make the day-night cycle, as any good RPG has, and especially being such a key and critical component of the, the game's functionality, that I needed something that could definitely track the days, the hours, and like the time of the year and all that, as that's what's in the original game. After doing a bit of research, I found a tutorial by insert name here Game Dev. This tutorial uses a built-in plugin that's already uh, pre-built into Unreal Engine 5, and it's called the uh, Realistic Sun position calculator and uh, now we have a beautiful day night cycle that I think is going to work very well for this project it already had variables pre-built into them that calculated and tracked the time of day and the time of year All I had to do is just plug that into the UI and we have an updating calendar now it was time to move on to the fun stuff so as you're playing this game uh, when you're not doing the the combat missions or the training missions you're just exploring the realms and you come across coins chests and doors that you can open and interact and there's coins and chests inside those buildings so I went ahead and created blueprints for the coin the chest and the door originally my plan was to make the animations in blender but I found out that there's a much easier way in Unreal Engine 5 using something called timelines within the blueprints so all the animations for the door and the chest are made within Unreal Engine 5 however one of the main ingredients to something like this is sound effects so right now when I pick up the coin or open the chest nothing happens you don't hear anything I found a website that had a treasure trove of uh, deception sound effects however it only really had the voice lines and some of the music so I hopped on to Mortal Kombat Deception Conquest I was able to actually turn down all of the background and environment sound effects and just isolate the character interaction sound effects I uh, went ahead and played that recorded my screen cut up all the audio in DaVinci exported that out imported it into Unreal and now we have all the original sound effects for things like um, Chujiko walking and running, uh, punching, obviously opening the doors, collecting the coins and opening the chests. Alright, after that I went back to the uh, Blender file and start making some custom collisions. And if you've ever played Mortal Kombat Deception Conquest, you know that the collisions are very unforgiving in that game. I wanted to bring that original frustrating experience into Unreal Engine 5. Uh, so the way I did that is I have two monitors. On one monitor I had the game opened up, kind of running into objects, and then in the Blender file I was eyeballing what I thought was about that size. And uh, while I had Conquest loaded up, I went ahead and observed the NPC paths. I wanted to throw in some NPCs to try to get a, a vibe for how they would it would look. And uh, after observing their paths for a hot minute, I realized that their paths were very simple. Most NPCs, if not all the NPCs, don't even turn a corner once they spawn on their side of the road. They kind of stick to that side and just follow a specific path. So I quickly threw together those paths in Unreal Engine 5. But for right now, this is kind of just placeholder. All right, and then if you remember from uh, my last video, I mentioned that I'm going the MCC route with this game. But yeah, so basically what I want to happen is while you're playing the Conquest, it's going to be in the original graphics, and then whenever you want to switch to the upgraded graphics, it's going to hide the original models, and then it's going to unhide the higher poly models, so that way, you know, it'll, it'll switch between the graphics, just like it does in the Master Chief Collection, which I think is a really cool feature, and I wish more remasters had that feature, so that's why I'm adding it. I'm also referring to this button as the Master Chief button moving forward. So in order to do this, I need to find a way to access all of the objects that are placed in the level from some sort of blueprint. I began testing this with some background static meshes by um, placing them into a single blueprint actor and then when I plop that actor blueprint into the level itself all the static meshes are in the exact location that they should be. Not only does this allow me to access the static meshes from the blueprint but I have them all in a single blueprint. That way this just makes it so much easier. I had this modular Asian temple pack loaded that into my 
project just to get some high poly placeholder objects um, threw them into the blueprint um, set up some simple functionality I'm actually surprised that this works so easily um, I expected this to be a massive undertaking seems like it was really easy with Unreal Engine 5 so and then uh, before I showcase everything that I've made so far, I uh, went ahead and changed the uh, viewport display to uh, 4x3, which is the original dimensions that something like an older game like this would have had back in the day. Uh, slapped on some hood elements and then uh, went to town. Considering I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, I think we've come a long way. Real quick, I just want to take this time to kind of curve some expectations. As I had mentioned kind of briefly in the first video, um, this is not going to include any combat as far as right now. I am looking into the possibility of ripping Mortal Kombat 11 animations and using those instead um, because as of right now, there's no way to rip the original animations from this game unless I had access to the files, but um, the only people that have access to those are the developers. So if I wanted to remake the combat sections, like the training part with uh, Shujinko and Boraicho, unfortunately I'd have to find a way to recreate all of those animations for both characters. And if this project goes as far as to remaking the other realms, that would just be way too much animations for me. So unless I had some help making those animations, um, or if I can find a way to get the Mortal Kombat 11 animations into this game for right now this is just kind of gonna be side quests only don't get me wrong i still want to add a lot of functionality to this game like i want to add all the voice lines um you swing on an npc you actually hit them or they block you and they hit you back i want to add the side missions you know we still need to add the interiors to the buildings but yeah i just kind of wanted to clear that up let me know what you think about that uh do you want to see me try to recreate the original animations into this game or would you be okay with me using say mortal kombat 11's animations Anyways, before I go, I just wanted to say thank you everyone who's new to the channel and the returning subscribers, all the Mortal Kombat Deception Conquest fans and uh, gamers alike. If you want to go ahead and show your support to the channel, just go ahead and leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day.